maybe I'll take maybe um, probably five minutes or so just to mention about the big pieces of, of the application, walk you through it, um, and then uh, go from there. So, um, so the beginning is uh, very um, self-evident. Each uh, organization applicant has to be a 501c3 or fiscal or have a 501c3 uh, as a fiscal agent with an MOU. Uh, one thing that's important that Anthony uh, Ng has uh, emphasized is that each organization should have already outreach to government uh, agencies or elected offices to, um, to explore and negotiate into placement before they start to work. So that's something that uh, is in the application uh, uh, so that people have a sense of um, what that territory looks like and how many placements are likely or, or, or already confirmed. And then uh, each organization should have uh, a team, uh, at least of two people, internship organizer and internship trainer. So um, the key dates are up here, when application opens, and then we have you know, uh, first priority uh, date for um, grant, uh, grant awards. It doesn't mean that uh, what it means is that um, grant awards would be uh, first round would be given by that date. But some organization, for some reasons, may need to let's say, oh, we really have a rush on this one. And then uh, if you uh, talk to Anthony, Anthony has said that he would work with you to let you know earlier if um, if necessary. So again, um, that's just something for your information. Then the idea is that there are some uh, folks uh, that have already done these uh, internships before. And so the process this year is very straightforward, very simple, uh, is to uh, basically continue those. And then we're hoping for new folks to come in too. And so we would be uh, accepting uh, grants uh, on uh, different, uh, uh, with different dates. So the first piece is just organizational in information. It's pretty self-evident, um, so I won't go into that in detail. Um, all the application is online, and usually we are, a lot of us will mention how many words maximum there are for each. So the idea is to be uh, very straightforward and um, just include the, uh, the, the material that is most applicable to what you are. Um, so that's the first piece. And then 1.5 I would just mention is a chance just for you to share any information you think are particularly relevant to this application. It basically gives you a chance to do whatever you want uh, outside the questions we put in. Hi, Michael. This is Christy. I have a quick question about yes. Um, I think it was question 1.2, if you want to, okay. yeah, so it says, um, please describe your, very briefly, your current status and funding partners. So for the current status, would you, um, I guess, what kind of information were you looking for in term, terms of that question? Yeah, so it's uh, just a very short, um, uh, description and you know the mission is the most straightforward what you do right current status might be oh we are really doing well we just started uh, one year ago and this year we've you know, done a few things and we, we're, we're growing and funding partners might be like yeah we've uh, we've uh, done some uh, we've done some forums and and we were able to either fundraise some money or we have some sponsors, uh, just to give a, you know, a sense of how your organization, the health of your organization. Okay, is. got it, Thank Or you. some folks might say, oh, we are just waiting for a 501c3. Some folks might say, oh, we've been around 30 years now and we're really just established big program and, and we have lots of people to do so. So, so again, Take all these uh, as a way to engage in a kind of understanding of your organization as, uh, as, as truthfully, honestly, authentically as we can, and, and also to, uh, to, to, um, to help you. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. Um, I, yeah, so, uh, yeah, my style is more homey and a little bit uh, not too formal, so I'm not too big into formalities. But um, so I encourage you, the organizations, you know, uh, try to be, you know, try to be candid rather than thinking what's the right answer. Um, okay, grant goals. This is important um, because, um, you know, uh, CLUSA, um, uh, um, uh, I guess, I don't even know, uh, leader. Uh, the inspiration behind it is Sandy Chow, as you all know. And he has very specific um, hope and vision for this, uh, for this internship. And I encourage you all to really uh, uh, understand it, uh, process it, and I hope that uh, you can also embrace it. I, uh, uh, you know, we have certainly embraced it and, and working out there. So uh, his, his hope for this internship is threefold. It's actually to help local uh, communities build community, right? So uh, he's thinking like, how do, how can CLUSA make your community stronger? make your organization, local chapters strong. And he thinks that, well, maybe through this uh, project, if you like, internship project, you can use it as a way to uh, make connections, grow your community, do something really meaningful for, for young people and cultivate adults. I'm sorry. Uh, can we get that the extra person that's on the microphone to mute it? Because it's really hard to hear you. Okay. Someone's yeah. not muted. Yeah. If you, uh, yeah, if there's a feedback, just uh, you know, do your mics. Uh, turn off your mics. Okay. Yeah, I will encourage everyone. When you're not speaking, then you can mute your mic to cut down the background noise. Uh, and when you speak, you just open it, and it will give everybody uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, clear on nice. that. Thank you. So, for instance, question 2.1, you know, um, how would uh, your goals in uh, encouraging local community building through public sector and engagement? So, for instance, uh, many uh, organizations, when they do a student internship, they get to know the public officials, they get to know the officers, they get to know sort of the ecology of that. And through that, they grow interest, they grow people, and then who knows, before they know it, some public office might ask them, oh, would you like to come help us on a committee or come help us, we might hire somebody from your community to do things. So, so and then, you know, for all kinds of things. So how would you make your community, you know, stronger? Uh, through that. And then second is that um, Sandy's vision is to that, um, that in doing this project over a few years, that there will be certain uh, folks that would step up and get more uh, involved. And some of them would actually say that, okay, why don't I take a turn to run for local public office? It's really not that, you know, there's a need in, let's say, school board. And through this, now we, we get in touch with school district. We do this, some people might come out. And so we, he, we are hoping that this would include everyone, and which means community members. Uh, student interns is a little bit longer term because they still have to finish studying. And it's kind of a, you know, for many people, it's a five to 10 year you know, investment that they would come back and, and uh, do this. And then uh, the internship program leaders, that the leaders themselves would think about this. Uh, Apali has a lot of experience uh, helping people into uh, public office. Um, for instance, in our program, uh, just this last year, uh, eight of our alumni, Apali alumni, adults that went through our program, ran for office for the first time and got elected actually. So uh, that's something that we know, um, you know, uh, can be introduced. We'd like people to at least think about that and, 
and not to say, oh, not me, never me. <laughs> They're you, but not me. But you know, so at least that's something we want to encourage. And then to think about how to build a pipeline in local public office, right? So this is a long-term project. And so even though we're just at the beginning, it might be a five years, but within 10 years, uh, hopefully uh, there will be you know, a lot in those areas. Just, uh, Sandy is very committed to growing local grassroots strength and it's very admirable. Okay, um, so the leadership team has two people. Uh, one person is the internship organizer and it, this person does what it says here. This might be the lead in the uh, building relationships for, with government agencies, galvanizing community support, you know, maybe organizing the uh, celebration, a lot of the sort of bigger framework of things. And then the internship trainer uh, is someone that can work with young people, right? Work with college students. And I guess they're now actually called Generation Z and have some experience doing that and get kind of not just having oversight, but help with organizing training and, and be a mentor these young people. Now, these roles, uh, we would like a team of two, um, but these roles can be, you can, you know, as I use the word lead, some people might say, oh, we're very clearly divided. This is your job, this is my job. Other people go, no, you know, we're gonna share in most of this. You, one person might take more of a lead, one more person. So there are many ways around this. We don't we want to be flexible and adjust to local conditions. 3.3 uh, is, um, is, is something that, that we hope for because um, one thing that Apali has learned over the last 20 years is that we really do need to grow leaders of different generations. So um, I think like some of you, uh, I am a, I guess I was going to say old immigrant now. <laughs> I've been here 40 years, so I'm an old man. So, um, but we're really focused also on bringing 30 years old, the 40 years old, the 20 years old into us. So if your leadership team of the two people, there could be some generational diversity, I think it's to your great benefit. And so something that you can think about. And, and then of course, other diversities that you might think of, maybe there's gender diversity, maybe there's uh, ethnic diversity. Um, so that's something that we think will strengthen uh, your team and your program and something for you to think about. Uh, please share how Identify Leaders plan to support grant goals of developing personal interest in service, uh, you know, in government service and in local public office. So you can talk about different things. Oh, we hope that through this, you know, we already have some people that are quite active already in the community. I think through this project, we can get them even more active, right? Uh, student interns, yeah, we'll, we'll We'll try to keep in touch with them, and when they graduate, we'd like to, you know, you know, uh, do things for them, and hopefully some of them will come back and do things. And then yourselves, even don't leave yourself out, even if it's just thinking about it. You can say, oh, I want to learn more about government. Yeah, maybe I, I'd be willing to try to serve on a commission, or maybe, yeah, you know, we'll see, maybe, but I won't be close to the idea of public service myself. And that's something that apali has been promoting. Like uh, everybody, you know, <laughs> most of us are very qualified. We just want to, you know, uh, be willing uh, to spend some time. It's actually not necessarily that much more work than serving as a board of a nonprofit if you're very So anyway, so that's that part. Internship, Michael, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. This is Lily. Um, I know because I just filled out the application form. It's very long, but okay. I want I don't want to miss the uh, uh, hi everyone. I'm Lily and I'm with the UC Illinois. And first of all, I want to recognize my team and Ren Li and Jim Ma and Michael Chen on the phone from uh, UC Illinois chapter. Thank you so much for your commitment. So um, I have a specific questions about the student uh, intern leaders. So we're very fortunate that you know, I. I understand that this is for a long term. I'm very happy to hear that. It's a long term commitment and investment. It's not that you go through the internship, then you're going to get a job or, you know, elect. 
But I do have a question in terms of selection of, because um, we're fortunate to have a Michael who uh, is a sophomore at uh, specializing in political science who already always want to do uh, politics. But how about the interns? So um, do we need to, from your experience, I think that's the, that uh, we have been thinking, do the kids have to really show some interest in politics or just like interest in the program itself? Because I think the quality of the interns are going to be very important in terms right. of the su exactly. success. I mean, not necessarily interest in politics, but like commitment and oh, just, uh, just okay. awareness of it. So okay. I don't know how strict or how, from your yeah. experience, uh, yes. that we need to focus on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me, let's hold that question because the next section talks about sort of the interns that we're looking for. And I think I can answer that and give you a sense of it. Okay, so internship program organization. So this piece talks about um, which uh, agency or elected office have you uh, contacted? Maybe the local office, maybe it's the mayor's office, maybe it is a uh, district office, uh, maybe it is a, just a government agency, the planning commission of the city or, or, or even school district or whatnot. So the name goes here. Uh, if they've been contacted, yes. Number of placement confirmed, we, com we, we confirm one placement. A number of placement likely, uh, one likely placement. Uh, placement unsure, we talk about it. We think there might be two placements, but we're unsure at this point. So that's what it is. And then here gives you a chance to talk about in a narrative form, too, which is you can describe a little bit. Oh, the, you know, the local office looks likely and that looks like very, promising, we are doing this, we are doing this. Okay. The age of the targeted students, I think you just asked the question about, you know, uh, what kind of students we're targeting. So, um, Yale USA wants to target especially college students, right? And the reason for college students, there's a number of reasons. One would be that college students are obviously more mature, they can be poli sci majors, some of them are already involved in government, poli sci, some of them are, have taken Asian American studies, and so uh, just more mature. Uh, our program, so anyway, so, um, so here you can mention what the students are age are. So they are 18 and above. If all the interns are 18 and above, I know that APAPA, a lot of their programs here, I don't know about elsewhere, but here, around here, a lot of them are all college students. So if that's the case, you would just say, check yes. They will all be 18 and above, or at least college students, right? And if not, then you would say, oh, here's the percentage that's 18 and above or under 18. So it might be, oh, we have 70% that are college students. We also take some high school students. Uh, maybe 30% or that kind of thing. Um, I encourage you to go high up, uh, go to minimally junior and seniors. I think a lot of juniors would be interested. Um, so don't, so, so, so each organization can, can, can do their own judgment. It's a matter of, of who you have available. Some of, we've heard that some organization most of the students are actually high school students. Um, so you have to start with what you have and what you can. As I mentioned, uh, Anthony will correct me if I'm out of order. But the first year we're gonna, they are, uh, CLUSA is going to be more open. But the long term, for instance, next year, they certainly want each organization to develop their outreach to college students because college students are just uh, more mature, more committed, right? So this is an investment, right? Um, and then to your question, right? To your question, um, how interested? So the question is really how interested. So when they write, we do ask them a question about interest. That should be the main gauge because uh, especially, um, you know, they should be at least be able to say things like, oh, I'm really interested in, you know, the direction of our country. I am, 
the kind of people that does a lot of community service. I am open to working in government. I am open to uh, policy. I am open to, you know, just an interest. Um, even if they cannot show too much, right, else, um, they should show an interest. So, um, so uh, I, I write down here, CL USA gives priority to funding programs that target students 18 and above. The local organization is responsible for adhering to laws and best practice. So under 18, there's a lot of laws about, um, you know, how would you interact with minors, especially trainers, right? And they are both best practices, and they are just um, so. Then agencies also have their own uh, requirements. Some agency I know only take uh, college level students. Some are more open and say, yeah, maybe juniors, high school juniors and seniors are good. But uh, so, but your programs will be responsible for that for all those, especially all those extra. Uh, requirements, legal requirements, best practice requirements for working with uh, minors. So for instance, a best practice uh, requirement might be, oh, anytime we meet with a minor, we shouldn't have one person to meet with a minor, right? It should be at least two people to meet with a minor, right? So that you won't have, uh, I don't even know, you know, sort of uh, that type of thing. You know, these days, uh, uh, these uh, issues become important. So if you organization wants to include minors, that's possible, but go ahead and, and, and talk about, you know, your rationale for it. And I think your program will be stronger if you talk about whether this year or in future, how you would go beyond just uh, minors, right? So one thing we all know that we want to avoid, when you put out a, you know, a lot of young people, you know, I think we're, you know, I think we all know this, we're very candid with each other, uh, are looking for, oh, they're, they're very concerned about going to college. And they want to put something like related to leadership because it looks good on their application. Well, unfortunately, that may not be the kind of students that's most, that, that the investment is most useful, right? Right? If they feel like, oh, I have, I actually hate government. I hate politics. I hate all those things. Well, maybe that's not the kind of students that's most important. You know, so anyway, so that's at least how we're thinking. And then how do you outreach? Uh, I know people have ways to outreach to their own community. Can you outreach to the local colleges? Can you outreach to the Asian parents of the college students to encourage them to, 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 to do this, right? Um, and then here is just your key dates, internship budget, the revenue expenditure items. And then what is the amount you request? So the grants will be from 2000 to 10,000. And uh, CLUSA is encouraging a one-to-one -one match, encouraged. So we thought about all these words, right? Especially first year, right? Um, so uh, some, some people say, hey, we, we really can't do one-to-one. -one this first year. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, we need 10,000 and uh, we love you for you. you give us 90% of that. Or what, right? So, um, um, please share other sources and amount of uh, funding, fundraising. So CLUSA is, um, um, again, thinking many years down the road so that they don't want programs they really want to programs to become strong, community to become strong. And that means having your own way of uh, you know, developing support for these programs. So that's why that is in there. They don't wanna, you know, just people to become just relied on. Um, please share your vision for community celebration graduation. So many a uh, Papa, they do this really well. They had, they invite, all the, it's a big celebration. They recognize the students, they give out awards, they give out certificates, they bring the elected officials, it gives visibility to the community. It helps the community develop clout and, um, and, and sort of be a piece of that in the community. 
a strategy to gain public visibility and influence, right? Um, and then uh, please share your vision and long-term planning for this student internship. So this is to think about the future. You might say things like, oh, this year, I'm making all this up, right? We're starting small because we're just starting. So we're just gonna have five interns. And let's see what happens. And, uh, um, but next year we we're gonna, you know, maybe we'll think about seven interns. So what's the future, right? This year we're gonna recruit um, more, you know, half and half college students and high school students. Next year we might change the percentage a little bit. You know? So this is just an opportunity you to think long term what's your dream right what's your community dream what's your leader's dream right because CL USA really want to invest in the leaders of the internship program in fact uh sandy child's viewpoint is that the leaders are at least as important investment as the students so the leaders are not just doing stuff but looking to these leaders and trying to help them support them the rest of these are just affirmations. These are things that uh, CLUSA will require you to do if you take the funding. So you should look through these. Some of these will be, how will you select students? So this one actually talks about students, right? So, um, so B2 is very important. So it actually gives you the selection criteria. You should select students based on their interest in exploring government, public sector careers, and elective office through a written response. So I think we would be encouraging you to maybe use these online platforms. They're very easy to set up. We could even help you with that, just like this JOT form. And then it's very easy to pass on and, and do things like that. And the students, they're really familiar with online you know, application. So uh, that gives you a, a lot of things. So there are three criteria that we could guess. One would be, how interested are you in government? You're applying for an internship to learn about government. You should be able to say something that you're interested in, right? So that's the most important criteria. The second criteria is, well, do you have anything to show from it? You know, have you ever volunteered? Have you taken an Asian American studies class, political science class, government classes, or have you ever you know, registered voters? Have you worked on a campaign? Do you have public speaking experience? What do you have, right? Um, how do you show that you're some? So, uh, and then the third criteria would be, how do they see their own background, right? So many of the students might say, oh, you know, I come from an immigrant family. Our family immigrated from the Philippines. And uh, so, um, yeah, this is how I see my ethnic background. I feel like I'm kind of American, kind of Filipino. Uh, I feel like Filipinos don't have enough visibility. And I think one of the biggest issues that we face is Stereotypes. People look at my face and don't even think I'm American. So that's what we want, you know, with these criteria. Um, and so uh, you will be using these criteria because one of the things that will be available to the students is to, uh, and the leaders will be to come to California for a national conference. And so I'll talk a little bit more about that. When you select the students, you can select it from based on just their application because some of the students, they're just starting their internship and you really don't have enough contact with them. And, uh, but you can select them based on this. If they say they're really interested in government and they've got experience and you know, they have a strong sense of Asian American identity and wants to you know, represent Asians, those are the students that you wanna send to this national conference, okay? And then the requirements, uh, the requirements of, of, you know, they have to uh, be trained locally. So the intern, uh, the student, um, the leader will, will do some training. I know many groups already do things like that. Maybe teach them etiquette, office etiquette, right? Maybe teach them uh, how to, uh, 
they interact with uh, constituents, maybe invite some speakers, maybe you know do various things. How can they um, you know uh, give information to their electeds, right? Sometimes good elected sometimes put students on to doing research projects for them. A good elected might say, oh, can you go out and find out the needs of your community for me? They should be ready to go there, be able to use those opportunities. Um, yeah, they need to register at least five eligible voters and educate them. They probably need to be involved in a uh, mid-program and end of program uh, online you know, reflections. We could give you some questions. Of course, all these, you know, a lot of these you can tailor it. You know, and then check in with your intern trainer, have a way of doing that, participate in graduation celebration. And then this last one, you, uh, if they are chosen, two of them, to go to California for this uh, CLUSA uh, training that's specifically for all the students and the leaders. And then that's it. So, sorry, I took only questions. Anyway, um, that's, that's open for questions. Or comments. Yes, I have a question. Um, yes. Michael, since you guys have been around for a while, what are things on applications that you recommend us avoiding or should not be doing? Um, can you say that again? I just heard some of them avoid. What, what to avoid? Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, what are things that we should be avoiding on the application that you've seen in the past? Uh, I still didn't, didn't hear that. Avoid people, avoid what? Oh no, what are things that we should avoid when we are applying? Avoid that are applying. Um, I think the key word that we're looking for is just thoughtfulness, right? Thoughtfulness. I think we're looking for to work with the organizations, local chapters, um, so, um, you know, I think CLUSA wants to nurture, right? Nurture people. And the way to nurture people is to work with people, right? And then to really understand where they are coming from. You know, what are their situations? Try to understand their situations and help them align with the goals of the application as much as possible. So um, I think, um, I think thoughtfulness is the word that comes to my mind. I think that in all the work we do, whether, whether it be internship training or the leaders we work with, we always encourage people just to be as thoughtful and as candid and honest as possible. And, uh, and then, you know, just have a good view of where you are, uh, open to growth, open to new challenges. Because I think you are all involved in the community because you see a need, right? And uh, so we have to encourage each other how to step up and continue to learn and act. That's what I would say, just, just thoughtfulness. And then the opposite of thoughtfulness is just boilerplate, right? Just write lots of things. And then we, we actually don't give you a lot of space to write too much stuff, but uh, kind of, you know, things that are, just general descriptions. But uh, we brought in like, I think, you know, we like solid things. Anyway, Thank I you. think it's helpful. Yeah. Hi, this is this is Anthony. Um, Anthony. Yeah. I I just want to uh, uh throw in a, a little comment. It's like uh that's not uh being hung up. Uh, by the um, uh, online or the, the application. The essence of it is more like a thought a process. Uh, we're guiding you through. If you haven't thought of those, we would like you to uh, start considering them so that the whole application is for that uh, process. It's not to, uh, or not mean to become an obstacle, rather it's like, hey, have you think of this? And then we'll want to make it a work in progress to work with you. So any comment uh, that uh, we uh, feel free to let us know so we can and always like fine tuning to make it uh, easier and also make it 
uh, to the point so, so that everyone will uh, join that same uh, vision, which is we want to uh, using this program to build relationship between local government and local community, especially civic living. The second, it is for the leader who organized this also get professional development and we see them as the assets of the community as value as student, which uh, Michael already stressed. And student, we want them to from just uh, participate to uh, active engagement in their own community in whatever fashion. Uh, not necessarily they will run the office, uh, but they will participate and be part of that, uh, what we call learn and act, or stand up and speak out uh, and learn the skill. And you all uh, can, can play that part of social investment into a collective effort. So any, any other technical question, uh, please feel free to, to chime in. Um, I just want to mention, while well, people are thinking if they have questions or not, that uh, June 21st to 23rd, so CLUSA is actually uh, you know, investing substantial amount of funding into a conference to bring everybody together. So uh, it's going to be June 21st, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, here in California. Uh, we're just about ready to uh, lock down a couple of really nice sites with lodging and, uh, and conference area. And we'd like to have uh, each of the applicants send a team of four people, the two leaders, and then two students that they select based on, I guess, the application. And, uh, and then to come here, and the idea is that um, there will be two separate tracks. Uh, the students will have a leadership training um, uh, provided for them to give them more, um, more vision, right, to inspire them and to help them kind of uh, talk with each other, think about how their identity and what is their uh, civic journey that they might embark on and that they might talk about like that. For the leaders, uh, for you folks, um, the leaders, uh, we will have a separate track and the leaders will be a combination, uh, a combination of um, sharing best practice, right? uh, telling each other like, oh, we did this and then giving people a chance to learn from each other and to plan ahead for next year, get ideas about this year, um, buy into this vision even more, and then how, how is this program helping you to build community? Is it helping you to build community? Do your community have folks that are interested, right? Are you having those discussions? about what it might look like. What does the local situation look for you like? And so, so please uh, save those dates and, uh, uh, on your calendars. And, 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 um, and uh, yeah, I think it will be very good. We'll I certainly work out very hard to make it uh, worth both the leader's time and the student's time uh, to come to do this conference. Yeah, this is Anthony again. Uh, the summer conference is also part of the grant that we award to each uh, African organization. We'll cover all the travel expenses for the team um, uh, once they commit in. So this is uh, part of the whole package. Yeah. So anyone, any questions so far? Um, somebody said that they filled in the application. Uh, who, who was that? Was that Lily or who? Yeah, I believe it's Lily. 
uh, of Illinois chapter, or maybe the team uh, from Illinois can um, chime in a little bit. Lily, are you still there? Uh, Lily, you have to turn on your mic. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. Maybe, maybe she's away from her desk, and then uh, and no, I know, I know think... we did submit the application. Lily did it. I no, think she's I trying have... to figure out how to unmute her mic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone from the Illinois team can just uh, give us some. Uh, a feedback about uh, your experience in, in filling up the application? Yeah, this is Jen. I don't know. I think on our team, it's Lily who filled the form. And uh, I think it's pretty straightforward. And she just asked, you know, how to select the interns. And I have a quick question, actually. You know, do you have any requirement about the interns? Like, you know, what kind of... Um, do they have to be a citizens, those students? Do they have to be, a, you know, are they okay to be green cards or international students? So do you have any of those kind of requirements? Oh, um, well, since Civic Leadership USA, our focus is USA. Um, um, as long as they are a uh, legitimate student in U.S., uh, we would like aid them to be able to participate. But once you put in the international student, then the perspective will be a, uh, a little different because uh, all we focus is U.S. political system or U.S. society. Um, and, and then you, you probably want to have uh, people who want to uh, get uh, like familiar with the same system. So I, I would encourage you um, uh, to focus on that. But if you have uh, a few brilliant and students want to take advantage of this, uh, we give the flexibility of you as the local host to make all the decision of selecting student. Uh, um, like we give you our priority and what we want to achieve and you are the uh, like a selection of the student who bring it forward to make it beneficial to both uh, to the organization and to the student themselves. Got it. Thank you, Anthony. Yeah, I, I think so too. So most of most of the you know, I think intent should be local, but some if international students are really into American system and trying to you know contribute i think you know yeah we should give them the chance i don't have particular in my mind i just right right yeah thank you for bringing up that question because uh the the crush of that question is really uh asking if that student involved in their local community in u.s actively then you you could consider them uh but but uh we, we try to focus on those who will or uh, uh, like invest into their own community in the U.S. So that those will be the uh, uh, more priority I will encourage, but it's not like a mandatory. Right, okay, yeah. thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you for that question. Um, just like uh, what Anthony is saying, that uh, selection of students is a local decision, right? In fact, CLUSA just give you the grant. Anything with to do with the students, the yeah, local, uh, organizations will make the decisions and also take full responsibility. Great, thank you. Yeah. Anyone, um, if you haven't go through the application, I would strongly encourage you to do so, uh, so that you might have um, uh, run into some uh, question that you need to to clarify, then you feel free to contact us uh, at, the, uh, at CLUSA. And, and also uh, coming back to the website and uh, looking for, like, we, we're going to have a monthly webinar. Uh, as, like, we'll try to clarify most. The one thing I want to stay here while you're here, 
I would say early bird catch the worms because we don't have like a, a, a black and white deadline this time because it's a transition year. We're going to uh, like kind of ro uh, roll over on a monthly e deadline that we review uh, from now till I would say uh, uh, early May. Uh, so, so you have some chance to fine tune your your proposal and talk to each other and strengthen it. The only e e thing is like uh, that's why I've been uh, calling uh, particular. Uh, most of those who already have uh, internship program existing that um, the earlier you submit your application, you will get reviewed sooner. And also all the uh, reply, if everything goes well, they will get award sooner. So that is uh, one of the incentive that you put everything together uh, uh, sooner than later. Uh, and it was on an ongoing base. Uh, and as I say, resources only that much to go around. So the earlier you come in, uh, you, you might have, um, uh, like I would say, uh, get, get that approval uh, sooner and then you can roll out your program earlier. Uh, but it is, it is not like detrimental if you who haven't uh, submitted your application yet, uh, because we hope this kind of information session can help you to clarify and also strengthen your proposal. So oh, I stop at that. Any questions so far? Okay, it seems, uh, no one has question at this point, or maybe if you haven't go through the application, uh, you might not know where you're gonna uh, have that. So uh, uh, let's just go back and walk through that application process. Uh, at least you register with our website so that we will have a slot and expect it uh, that you are in. Um, so we will we'll, we'll kind of, uh, uh, kind of ready a space for you. It's only for our internal oh, estimation, even for booking facility, is something like that. Um, so I, I I'll stop here. Anything yeah, I missed, yeah, uh, yeah. Michael? I, I, yeah, uh, I just also want to um, encourage everyone uh, I, that to um, there's a button on once you apply, you know, just register for the form. You can start the form, you can stop and you can go back and continue as long as you save it. Um, and, uh, and then to print it out and save it for yourself, uh, both as soft copy and hard copies, and forward it to other uh, leaders in your group uh, to look at the, how you've answered it, and then have, uh, have look for opportunities to explain to people or to discuss with people uh, you, you know, what you have put together as a proposal, just to get more buy-in so that everybody is on the same, same wavelength uh, in terms of moving your, this internship forward. In other words, don't just try to write something, one person write something, apply, and, you know, then just leave it there because we will be always coming back to this application because it's more of a relationship building, right? An institution building. So in the, uh, when we have the conference, we'll be asking like all the things that you mentioned in your applications, how much of it have you been able to do? What are your successes? What are your challenges? Can you share with us? And then next year, what will be your, your, your direction related to these questions? So uh, uh, use it as a living document. Uh, for, for, for your groups. Hey, this is Nan. Just to follow up on the registration application. So are you suggesting only one person from the organization register, then download the soft copy to share with the team? Yeah, you know. The, the people register, right? Um, yeah, it only allows for one person to be the holder 
uh, to the, the, the contact person, I think. That's how it's been set up. Uh, and then you can download it and share with each other. Uh, the good thing is if you use Zoom, which you're using already, you can also discuss with each other the application online, like what we're doing now, right? I'm not using the actual, I'm using the uh, back end copy of this, but you notice one thing I could do here is that uh, I could, you know, I could change the form, I could do things right on here. So a few of you can zoom together and fill it in together and discuss it so that it's, right? Whatever is your methodology, I'm just giving you some possibilities of doing this uh, to supplement face-to-face -face meeting. And then you can slowly work through this thoughtfully. And that's the best thing. <coughs> hey, Michael, um, I had a quick question. I think I, um, you might have gone over this. I might have uh, not heard this part about the training calendar. Um, I see that you were saying that, um, that we'll be using Zoom. And does that include will be like, that we won't actually go out to California until um, until July? Is that correct? And we're going to be using the yes. training. Exactly. Prior? So, so, so correct. So we're because um, this is a national, so it's not practical, right? To mm -hmm. to, to to do too many, you know, both time right. and expenses. But we're going to try to learn to use online assets as much as possible. Okay. That's what we're doing today, right? So awesome. with you, we're going to encourage the local chapters, the local applicants to also use online assets, right? Right. So right. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe your, we would encourage you to use, you know, uh, you know, online application forms for your students, right? Mm -hmm. It's not that hard to set up. We can even help you, right? And then do it that way. And then when you're organizing the leaders, um, I do all my meetings on, on Zoom these days. You know, Anthony knows, right? It's very efficient, right? You just take a, and then so we would encourage you to do that. Of course, supplement it with face-to-face -face and all that. And then, mm -hmm. uh, and then when you're training the students, you know, sometimes the reflections can be an, an, a, on an online. They just do an online survey for reflections. And same with your group. So one thing you notice is that at the end of the program, we will ask your teams to do an online uh, reflection, right? It's yeah. not called a report because, you know, a report is, right, people, yeah. right? But it's yeah. sort of reflection report, which is, which is like, okay, this is what we did. We wanted to do 10 things, or we end up only being able to do six. Then this is what we want to do next year. Uh, we did this, but it didn't quite work. We want mm -hmm. to do that. So it's that kind of conversation right and so um so we'd encourage you to you know use both assets online and in face uh, but in terms of the formal interaction with CLUSA it is just this conference this weekend conference three days for everybody to come together so let's say we have 20 to 30 applicant groups maybe then you can just do the math, right? Each group has four people, two students, two adults. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's gonna be a pretty big event. I see. So, um, and this weekend, uh, uh, the conference is over one weekend, you said, over the summer? Mm -hmm. uh, here's the date, am I sharing? It's June 21st to 23rd. June 21st to 23rd, okay. Yeah. So June 21st to 23rd, uh, please save it on your calendar. Okay. Yeah, it will be in California. Uh, mostly in Silicon Valley's somewhere. Okay, great. And then, um, so our, the meetings, it says here, YLA 2019 will meet Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, 1.30 to 4, from July 1st to August What are you looking at? Uh, I'm on the page, um, let's see, the summer paid internships, a poly. No, 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 you're, you're looking. Oh, for, okay. That's, that's that makes more sense if I'm not looking at the Okay. That makes more sense. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. You're just looking at the Apali website. None of this stuff is on the Apali website. We're, oh, okay. We're a partner of CLUSA. We're doing stuff for CLUSA. Uh, okay. Thank you for the yeah. clarification. Yeah, yeah. 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 Am I sharing it? screen with you? Do you see my screen? I, I, I do, yeah. I yeah, thought yeah, it was, it's kind of hard to see. But, it's just um, date here. It has nothing to do. Apali has a completely separate programs that we're running. Oh, uh, okay. Thank yeah. you for yeah. Yeah, All yeah. Right. We have internship programs. We have student. You know, we have a right. session. 
training. Okay. On Polly's program, you have to be on site at the the Anson College. Oh if, right, okay. Uh, I was gonna say yeah, it's a long time. It's more, <laughs> no, it's more no, no, lo no, no, local no. focus. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. Okay. All right. Is this Hi, Michael. I have a yeah. quick question for Lily. Okay. Yeah, Lily, she cannot unmute herself, but uh, she's asking if uh, you guys have any promotional materials for us to recruit students, or I bet another way is, do we have to create our own stuff to recruit students? Uh, Anthony, do you want to take that? Okay, uh, for that, uh, I will suggest you can go on Civic Leadership USA's website. Under the internship program, what you do is, you could just cut and paste and take those information as part of your announcement. Uh, and then, in, uh, uh, as Michael said, uh, down the road, if you need some help to develop online for your student uh, to fill in application, to cut down the paper, save some trees, uh, uh, we, we, can, we can help you. Because uh, the job form, as Michael said, uh, we already created, so we, you can share some of those with you, um, or you can use the uh, like traditional. You have the student fill in, in the, uh, the page, which we have some kind of uh, template or form that already being used by a papa that I can ask Glenn to share with you. Uh, whichever way is easier for for you all to uh, to be able to capture those. Uh, we work good. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think that would be helpful. But yeah, we, we our team use JotForm always as well to recruit our, you know, use programs and volunteers. So we, oh, we are familiar with yeah. JotForm. Yeah. And yes. yeah, just as one thing to share, you know, I think nonprofit, any nonprofit, I think it's free, right, for nonprofit? It, it is. Yes, yes. So any uh, any of you who are on the meeting, if you are a nonprofit, you know, organization, so feel free to use it. It's a wonderful tool. Right. And and also the Zoom for uh, for nonprofit is free if you uh, stay with 40 minutes each meeting uh, right. uh, with your party. So so utilize them so that it will cut down your travel time and everyone work on the same document at the same time. Like, Michael suggests, I think it will help uh, every one of us to better time management this way. Right, right, right. Another trick, after 40 minutes, you can just give your team another link and they can exactly. log in again. Yeah, yeah, it's very easy to use. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you know you're gonna over 40 minutes, you just right. uh, start two meeting ID and then have everyone just to go into a different room. So, so there's a way uh, uh, to, to kind of minimize your cost. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, thank Great. you so much, for Ren, for, for sharing that. That's exactly the kind of thing that we like to promote, people helping each other out. And we're learning too, right, frankly, right? So, so we just, you know, learn from each other, yeah. Exactly, that's what we're here for, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Community, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Okay, Great. It's, uh, 11 o'clock, I want to be respectful of everybody's time. I want to thank you for uh, being uh, joining us, and I want to wish you a very nice long weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank bye you bye everyone. everyone. Nice meeting everyone. Bye bye. Look thank forward to see our proposal uh, soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Bye. Really appreciate you guys. Thank bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, I yeah. Jean Ma, uh, which program is Jean Ma? I, I believe Jean Ma uh, is in the Illinois team. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I'll just put her down. Okay. Great. Oh, uh, I actually have one question. Yes. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, so as a student, is it possible for me to both uh, help lead and like do this as well as participate or no? You know, we haven't thought about that, but let me- I will see. welcome that, yeah, yes. Yeah, I think yes. that would be very good. You know, what, uh, so what level are you, Anthony? Oh, uh, no, 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 Anthony. Is this Michael? Who, who's uh, talking? Yes, this is Michael. Well, I'm uh, really glad you're interested. So I think that can work if you think about it, right? So you can be- a, Yes. 
participate yourself and you can be the leader. I, I think so. Anthony, do you think so? Yes, I, I actually, I welcome that idea because our, our, our main goal is like for students to grow into leader. If you already have that in process, it is right. perfectly okay. Uh, and I'll, and you, you can actually put a few more uh, if you have uh, rather than just two so that you always have a team to work out. Yeah. The only question we have is do, uh, for the, this year budget wise, we can only afford a team of four. So, so we, or if you can and have that switch around, so student can be also a, a part of trainer, uh, even better means that you can include uh, uh, more people in I your see, team. I see. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Very Thank nice. you. Thank you. We'll bring this up. Yeah. Yeah. And as an organizer, you can already say how you you're, you're interested, and in. that that's great. That's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. -bye. Good to meet everybody. Same here. Can I email you uh, separately or if I have questions and yeah, stuff like that? Yeah, you can, you can reach let, out. Let me have your email address. Uh, let me have your email address. Okay. My email is Michael Chang, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, C-H-A-N-G at Apali, uh -huh. A-P-A-L-I dot O-R-G. All right, Michael. We, yeah, okay, good. Um, you know, I don't know. It was a group. I didn't want to uh, uh, impose because I think I don't know if they're all new or, or not. But this group is uh, very new. We've just been approved uh, this chapter anyway. We've just been approved just this month. So congratulations. Um, so it, it's <laughs> some of the question you ask on the application. We're gonna have to sit down and put our brains together and and see uh, what we can do uh, in order to uh, you know qualify for the grant. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure Anthony would love to work with you. You're also a papa, right? Yes, yes, yeah. we are. So I can support you. Um, also, uh, Glenn Fuji, you know Glenn. Mm -hmm. Glenn, Glenn Fuji, yes. Uh -huh. He has been, he's a papa, right? And he has yes, been he is. with this process from the beginning in terms of the application process. And so mm -hmm. he's also supporting different papa groups and you should reach out to him too, because yeah. It, so, so yeah. yeah, we're just very excited for new folks to be organizing, think about this and apply. Yeah, we'll definitely work with you. That's what I would say. Right. What I like is that um, there is, it's a long-term goal. Um, yes. You know, most people, yes. kids nowadays is all about instant gratification. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but but I like the long term goal. I want to set them yeah. down and start them. Uh, yeah. I like the idea of being able to bring in call, uh, high yeah. school kids because college kids they may already have what you know what they want uh, or may may not now they 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 just go through yeah. the four year and really yeah. don't know what they want. Yeah. So this molding this it does take time. So this is the good program. So thank you very much. Thank you, Francine. Thank you. All right. Talk to you later. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye.